Good morning, everyone. My name is Liu Chen Xiu. Uh, first of all, I hope you are doing well during this pandemic. And please stay home, be safe for this very tough time. Today, I would like to talk about my work at China Steel Corporation. The topic is vapor liquid equilibrium modeling for carbon dioxide and methanol binary system at low temperatures. This work is at its early stage. We are studying the capability of thermodynamic models in representing the phase behavior for this binary system, typically at low temperatures. Indeed, this study is an extension of the work that I conducted before. I will give you more ideas about what's the difference between my prior work and this work. The objective of, of this work is to correctly estimate the vapor liquid equilibrium for this binary system and covers the low temperatures, low temperatures and moderate pressure. The modern result should support the simulation of rectisol process where the carbon dioxide is physically absorbed by methanol. Here is the operational condition for rectisol process, and it typically operates at the temperature below two, 273 Kelvin and at a moderate pressure. Please be noted that it will vary with the removal level of other components in the gas ring. This is the outline of my presentation. I will first talk about the application for this binary system, the prior modern result, and their defects. These are our motivations. And then I will talk about our modern result and jump into the summary and future work. Accurate fluid phase equilibrium modeling for this binary system is of high interest because it's presence in numerous industrial applications. For example, Methanol is used as physical absorbent for carbon capture in rectisol process. The binary mixture of carbon dioxide and methanol is used as working fluid in heat pump processing. Based on the literatures, the operational temperature for these two applications can be roughly divided into two regions. The former one, rectisol process, is typically below 273 Kelvin, whereas the later one for the heat pump processing is operated in the temperature range of 273 Kelvin all the way up to 400 Kelvin. So what happened to the prior model result? They either have satisfactory agreement with data, but they only cover a very narrow temperature range or they under predict the bubble point pressure, but they cover a very wide temperature range. The most recent article for this binary system is published by UEO this year. They aimed to identify suitable thermodynamic models to support the process simulation of heat pump processing with this binary system as working fluid. They reported a systematic evaluation for, of 10 commonly accepted thermodynamic models. And they covered a very wide temperature range as well. In their conclusion, they show that when the temperature is above 330 Kelvin, the Penn Robinson equation of state is suggested. Otherwise, the non random two liquid activity coefficient model is suggested. However, the temperature below 273 Kelvin was not included in their work, and hence it attracts our attention. We would like to know if the model parameters they identified can be applied to low temperatures for the application of rectisol process. The approach to calculate the vapor liquid equilibrium 
using activity coefficient model is called gamma phi method. For this method, the vapor liquid equilibrium is calculated by equating the vapor and liquid fugacities of each of the components in the mixture. Here is the expression. And this term B I V is the is the fugacity coefficient of component I in the vapor phase. This term gamma I is the activity coefficient of the component I in liquid phase. And for these two terms, they can be estimated by using any type of equation of state and activity coefficient model respectively. Please be noted that when gamma phi method is applied, people usually assume that the non-ideality of the system is resulted from the liquid phase. And hence, the gas phase is usually assumed to be ideal. For UEO's work, the NRTL model is applied to calculate the activity coefficient. And the ideal gas law is applied for the vapor phase. Here is the expression of the NRTL model. And they identify the temperature dependent tau parameters for this model. And the model result is shown in the plot. And from the plot, you can see that the NRTL model result stage dot line has a set satisfactory agreement against the data in the temperature range of 273 Kelvin to 330 Kelvin. The other thermodynamic model, PR2, which stands for the Pen Robinson equation of state with two adjustable parameters. It also reproduces the phase envelopes, but it predicts two liquid, which is not supported by the data. Here is the LLE region predicted by Pen Robinson equation of state. We apply the parameters that you it all identified to see what's the best that the NRTO model can do for this binary system at the temperature below 273 Kelvin. Here is our model result. The solid and empty circles stands for the more fraction of CO2 in liquid phase and vapor phase respectively. The data are retrieved from NIST data bank and only the data that fully reported temperature, pressure, liquid and vapor phase compositions are collected in the plot. And you can see that the lowest temperature is 228 Kelvin. The solid line is the NRTL model result. And you can see that basically this model satisfactorily satisfactory represent the phase envelope in the temperature range of 228 to 273 Kelvin. The deviation between the data and the model result for each temperature is reported in the table. However, we haven't found any specific trend for the result. For example, the highest deviation is about 15% at 228 Kelvin, whereas the lowest one is 5% at 230 Kelvin. Since these two temperatures are uh, quite close, we believe this observation is due to the inconsistent data quality from different groups. Summary. Again, the NRTL model satisfactorily represents the phase envelopes for the carbon dioxide and methanol binary system at temperatures below 273 Kelvin. The absolute relative deviation is about 5.2 to 15%. For the future work, we will conduct the vapor liquid liquid equilibrium calculation to ensure that the NRTL model does not predict too liquid 
the stats can represent equation of state does. After that, the reliable model parameters can be delivered to chemical engineering practitioners confidently. Thank you for your attention. Any questions? <laughs>